The Bureau of Reclamation has issued a stark warning. Continued drought across the Colorado River Basin is intensifying pressure on states to strike new water-sharing agreements that will safeguard the region's long-term water security. The Colorado River provides drinking water to more than 40 million people across seven western states and Mexico, while also powering vital hydroelectric systems. But with climate change and overuse straining supplies, reservoirs such as Lake Powell and Lake Mead remain at critically low levels. Earlier forecasts suggested Lake Powell could sink below its minimum power pool, the 3,490-foot threshold required to generate hydropower at Glen Canyon Dam, by late 2026. While the latest federal analysis offers a slightly less dire outlook, it still underscores the urgency of the situation. According to the Bureau's August 15, 24-month study, Lake Powell is projected to sit at 3,538.47 feet on January 1, 2026. That's about 48 feet above the minimum power pool, but still a worrying 162 feet below full capacity. Under this scenario, Powell will operate in the mid-elevation release tier, with a planned release of 7.48 million acre-feet of water for the 2026 water year, October 1, 2025 to September 30, 2026. Meanwhile, Lake Mead is expected to remain in a level 1 shortage condition. Its elevation is forecast at 1,055.88 feet, about 20 feet below the lower basin shortage trigger. That means mandatory water cuts. Arizona will lose 512,000 acre-feet, 18% of its annual supply, Nevada will forfeit 21,000 acre-feet, 7%, and Mexico will contribute 80,000 acre-feet under binational agreements. These reductions are required under the 2007 Interim Guidelines and 2019 Drought Contingency Plan, both set to expire in less than 18 months. Federal officials stress that current stopgap measures, such as conserving 3 million acre-feet in the lower basin and sending supplemental water from upstream reservoirs, will not be enough beyond 2026. These short-term tools will only help us for so long, said Scott Cameron, acting Assistant Secretary for Water and Science at the Department of the Interior. The next set of guidelines needs to be in place. In search of longer-term solutions, a recent study highlighted that expanding wastewater recycling could provide a meaningful boost. Recycling 40% of wastewater across the basin could save nearly 900,000 acre-feet annually, enough to supply almost 2 million households. As the clock ticks toward 2026, when current agreements expire, federal and state officials face growing pressure to craft a sustainable path forward for the river that has sustained the American West for generations.